Hey everyone, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a great week and I'm so excited for today's video. So let's jump into it. <laughs> So a few things I wanted to touch on in this video is my background, my fitness journey, and why YouTube. I feel like this video is going to be super hard to make because it's kind of hard to sit here and like talk about yourself. I feel like I'm going to ramble on a bit, but I feel like it's a video that I need to do to kind of explain myself to you guys. So, okay, um, how do I start? How do I start this? I don't I grew up in Florida. I'm a Florida girl, born and raised, have never left, and I would say I never want to leave. I don't think I will leave. I, I absolutely love it here. We're so close to all the lakes and like an hour away from the beach. We also live 20 minutes away from Disney, so it's a, it's all in one. I got the whole package here and I don't know why I would ever want to leave. I grew up as a competitive gymnast, so that's kind of my sporting background, where it all began. I absolutely love the sport. Gymnastics is, it is such a hard, mentally tough and physically tough sport. So I started gymnastics, my mom put me in little like mommy and me classes when I was I started when I was two, yeah. Two years old, so I did gymnastics all the way up till I was 13. I was training to be a level 10 gymnast. I competed at level eight, was my last year, and then I was going to skip level nine is what I was being told. Who knows if it would have happened, but I was gonna compete a meet level nine and then go 10. My last year of competing, I hurt myself in the beginning of the competition season. I hurt my wrist doing a vault. And I remember throughout the whole season, it kept bugging me and I didn't wanna to go to the doctor because I didn't wanna be out for the season. I didn't wanna let my team down. As a gymnast, you are brought up to be so tough to push through the pain. I made the Florida national team, so I actually competed for the whole state of Florida because I was the top, in the top, seven or I think it was seven or eight girls in Florida. So I was able to go do that, which was actually like the coolest thing ever. I got this really pretty black and pink leotard and it was a really neat experience to get to do that and like meet other girls from Florida that were really good too. And that was really, that was so cool. And it was in Georgia and I absolutely loved it. But I got to do that. So my last event was vault and I just remember having the worst vault ever. So my one coach was like, you just lost the meat for yourself. Right after that competition, I went to the doctor and found out that I broke my growth plate in my wrist. I go to the gym the next day with the cast on and the coach that told me I ruined the competition for myself was like, you're a hero and all this stuff. And it was just like, like really like no one believed me when I told them my wrist hurt. Like they're just like brush it off. Like you're fine. A bone's not popping out. Go, go do your vault. You're fine. After that, I had to take obviously some time off because I did have a broken wrist. I still went into practice and learned new skills without hands. And then once I got my cast off, it was like right before high school started. And I had wanted to quit or like had thoughts of quitting for a long time, a long time. But I didn't want to let my family down. I felt bad because gymnastics is expensive and they had to pay so much money and I wanted to be able to go to college on a full ride scholarship so, so that my parents didn't have to pay, you know, because they've already paid for so long and I felt like I was letting my family down. So I just never really tried to entertain that thought and just brushed it aside. And I was like, no, like you can't quit, you can't quit. So when I got my cast off and it was time to go back, I remember just being like scared to do everything because I hadn't done it in so long. I was not, not happy and I knew it in my heart that I was not happy. I was homeschooled in middle school for gymnastics. So a lot of my social life was taken away from me. I wanted that, I chose that, I wanted to be homeschooled. So I ended up deciding to quit a week before high school. Tried out for cheerleading, tried out for the lacrosse team. I 
don't regret quitting for a second i absolutely loved high school i had the best high school experience with that being said though i don't want to bash gymnastics because i love the sport i think it's an awesome sport i think i am the way i am because of the sport it teaches you discipline it teaches you strength mental toughness it teaches you respect it teaches you i can't think of anything else right now but it teaches you so much and I learned balance. I learned how to fall. Still to this day, if I'm gonna fall most of the time and I'm like, I have a lot of momentum and I'm about to fall, I will do a roll. I will do a forward roll. But yes, I believe that gymnastics really, really shaped me into who I am today. It taught me so many lessons. When I went to college, I actually really struggled for a while with my identity because I tried out for the team at Florida State, the cheer team, and didn't make it, which was heartbreaking for me. Heartbreaking. So yeah, in college, I went through the worst depression I've ever experienced. Super bad anxiety. I had I lost my whole identity. I lost, I had done sports since I was two years old and then I didn't. Eventually I ended up saying that I was going to take off a semester and I'm gonna figure everything out. Well, <laughs> I never ended up going back. So I met Mark and then I ended up getting a job as a gymnastics coach to teach competitive gymnastics. So I was so excited to take that opportunity and do that. It was so much fun, I loved that job. I obviously love the sport of gymnastics, but I knew in my heart I wanted to go back to school, so I started back at UCF and absolutely loved it. I made friends in my classes, which I hadn't done at Florida State because I was not in a good you know, headspace. I loved my advisor. It all just like fell into place when I came home. When I came home from Florida State, that's when I met Mark, and Mark has changed my life in so many ways as well love him mark is uh well he owns his own weightlifting gym inside a crossfit gym and he is a phenomenal coach he is like a sponge he retains all the information everything i've ever wanted to be able to do he can do with his brain so i'm a little jealous of that <laughs> mark's like super successful as a coach and uh, he's taught me so much. I actually I got my weightlifting level one certification So I am a weightlifting certified coach Level one weightlifting certified coach, which is really neat and that was super exciting. So we're kind of like the dynamic duo mm -mm -mm. Now we're moving on to my fitness journey Woo! It's been a journey. It has been a journey gymnastics is super hard on your body so nowadays I have a lot of issues and one of the big issues I have is my hamstring. Which I heard that when I went tumbling one day in college. Well, I tore my hamstring and it still causes me issues. Like it's really hard to go to the movies and sit down because sitting down for a long period of time really aggravates it. Long car rides really aggravate it and weightlifting <laughs> If I push too hard, we'll really start to aggravate it too. So when I first started weightlifting, I started out actually for like two months doing CrossFit and then I moved over to Mark's side, Mark's specialty, which is the weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting. I will provide you guys with a little video of me doing two Olympic lifts just to show you guys what they are. So the first lift I'm going to show you is the snatch and then the Second video I'm going to show you is the clean and jerk. So those are the two weightlifting movements. But I loved it, it gave me something to focus on, it reminded me of gymnastics in a way, and I was like super pumped about weightlifting. I was like, I love this, this is awesome. Everything was going my way for like a year. At the end of that year, I was getting to it. And I hit this really heavy lift, and the next day I woke up, which is weird because I feel like this is always what happens is like I'm fine and I don't know I injured myself. And then I wake up the next day and my body's like, girl, oh, you don't even know what you just did to yourself yesterday. Let me tell you, I got something for you. And that's what my hamstring said to me. She was, she was sassy. <laughs> she said, your adductor, done. 
girl. You won't be squatting for a while. You didn't take care of me, I'm gonna make your adductor hurt. Next, your knee. That's gonna hurt too. Have fun with that one. So for a long time, I could not squat. My knee got better, and then my adductor still causes me issues, and so does my hamstring. So we're trying to rehab me better, but with that being said, it has helped me grow as an athlete and change my mindset. And I'm not all about like when I first started lifting, I was like, I have to lift heavy all the time. Yeah, I've learned to train at lower weight and just take a step back, breathe and enjoy the workout. It was definitely a life lesson learning how to take a step back and really focus on getting healthy again getting my body back to what I was used to, which I'm still, I'm still learning, I'm constantly learning, and I'm still in the middle of it. I'm still trying to get healthy, and it's been over a year. But instead of looking at it like it's been a whole year and I'm not healthy, I'm looking at it as like, I've gotten so much stronger. I've been celebrating the little victories. Sometimes you just have to change your mindset in to thinking something more positive because it is so easy to think negatively. So, moving on to why YouTube. Why YouTube? I'm on here because I want to inspire others. I want to show others how to live a healthy lifestyle and be happy and have a fun and healthy and enjoyable lifestyle mentally healthy physically healthy all the above like all my little secrets i'm giving to you i also wanted to start youtube to help with things that you might have questions with like i wanted to provide you guys with workouts because i know how difficult it is to sometimes get started with the workout and not know what to do so i'm providing you with stuff that you can i mean get ideas from like here's a few workouts that i did today you can pull stuff from my workouts and i just think that's a great way of spreading the knowledge to you guys too because i do want you guys to enjoy and live a healthy life too. <laughs> I really hope this channel really reaches as many people as possible because I want to be able to help out as many people as I can and I've always wanted to do that and help out people. Mark is the same way and I'm hoping we can combine our knowledge and really help out the world. <laughs> I did want to mention too that with the workouts Mark and I are like I said a team mark is the mastermind behind the programming so he's the one that usually writes out the workouts i trust mark so much and like i saw great results from following his program so i wanted to share that with you and he's so happy that i'm doing this because he wants to reach and help as many people as he can and we can as a team so we just thought this was such a good opportunity for both of us to have to be able to reach a lot of people so um that is why the big question why youtube and i just i personally love youtube and i just it makes me happy so that's another reason why i like to do it and i'm trying to put out there what i love and the things that mean the most to me so yeah i think that concludes my video i hope i didn't like talk too much um and babble on about things that you don't care about but <laughs> it's kind of hard to just sit down and talk I've never actually sat down and talked to the camera about myself for this long so um with that being said I hope you guys all really enjoyed this video if you did like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I hope you guys all have the best week and I love you all mm -hmm.